Hello everyone, Oxer here and welcome to another Epic 7 video. Today we're going to be talking about combat readiness. One of the most important things that you need to know in battle about this game. So combat readiness is like a stat in the game in the battle that tells you when your hero is going to be attacking. It depends strictly on the speed of your hero. So for example, let's check my heroes that are on this team that I'm going to be using for this um, I don't know for this video so let's go for lots I'm using lots because his third skill increases 10% combat readiness then we have silk which her first skill decreases 7% combat readiness then we have tenebria her second skills reduces 20% of combat readiness and then we have where is she Lorena which she also Increases her combat readiness by 20% Yes, that's it. Only that. Yes. Only that that she increases her combat readiness by 20% So This is going to be happening Combat readiness is measured by the speed and depending on the speed is is going to be telling you when your hero is going to be starting at the beginning of a battle So for example, let's go for lots lots right now should be at 145 speed then we have Silk, she's around 117. Then we got Lorena, 101. Then we got Tenebria, that is 104. So they are going to be starting like this, or they should start like this. Lots, um, Silk, Tenebria, and then Lorena. Sometimes it is differ, it sometimes it's not this exact, but it should be like this. So let's go into a battle so I can explain you better how it works. It's going to be taking a lot of maths, but hopefully you are going to be understanding me. And hopefully you are doing the, the side story because you can get stopped. So hopefully you are very clear like me. Okay, so let's go to a battle. I explained it already which skills I will be using to explain you how combat readiness works. So, combat readiness in these in the battles, you can see it as a bar that is on the, on the left of the screen. I'll try my best. This bar. So, as you can see, as I told you, Lots is first, Sil is second. I don't know why sometimes they switch places, maybe because I have a hero that is increasing the speed. I don't know exactly. I need to check that actually. Maybe it's on printing that I didn't check. But these two are like that. I don't know. Lorena should be the let should be at the last because of her speed is not the same as the one of as the area. I don't know why it happens sometimes. Anyway, let's explain how combat readiness works. So you can see that my lots has 100% combat readiness, which means that he's the one right now that is going to be attacking. Then we have Silk, is the next one that is going to be attacking. Then Lorena, then the monster, then Tenebria, blah 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 blah. Ha, that's how it works, right? <clears throat> that's how combat readiness works. It tells you when your hero or the enemy is going to be attacking. So, you can control this by reducing the combat readiness of your enemies and increasing your the combat readiness of your hero. So, this is how it works. I will try to explain it slowly because it's a little bit confusing. Okay, so my lot's first um, last skill S3 increases 10% of combat readiness. So this is going to be happening. It's going to be receiving 10% uh, of combat readiness as along with all of them when he uses a skill. When he uses a skill, he's going to be at 0% combat readiness. Then he's going to be winning 10% of combat readiness. My Silk is going to be winning 10, Lorena is going to be winning 10, and Tenebra is going to be winning 10%. So that's going to be putting him on 10%. Silk is going to be at 89%. Lorena is going to be at 80%. And uh, Tenebria is going to be at 78% of combat readiness. So that hap that's, go that's going to be translating as my um, Tenebria going first than this monster. So after that. Is going to be Silk's turn. So she's going to be needing, since she's going to be at 89, she's going to be needing 11% of combat readiness 
in order to get that 100% so she can start her turn. So, all the heroes almost uh, are the, all the heroes are going to be winning 11% of combat readiness. My heroes are going to be winning 10 of extra because of the lot skills. So, when I use a lot skill, he's going to be at maybe 21, 24 combat readiness because of his speed. He's very he has more speed than the other heroes, so he maybe is going to be at 25, 24 uh, combat readiness because you know that combat readiness is determined by the speed of the hero. She's going to be at 100% because she's going to be the next one on the half of having the turn, and then Lorena should be having around. She's 21% extra, so she should be at she should be at 91% combat readiness, and she should be at 10, 21, 91, 91%. No, 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 no. I mean, 88% combat readiness. She should be at 88% combat readiness, and she should be at no. Well, yeah, around 88, 89 combat readiness, and she should be at 91 combat readiness. All these monsters should end like at 17, 79, um, 76, around that, right? So let's use his skill so he can increase the combat readiness of my heroes. Uh, yes, I need to click here. Come on, everyone! <coughs> I'm all ready. Okay, now you can see if we check the chart. Well, she got a little bit less. She's at 100% because it's her turn. I almost hit it, I don't know, I missed like miscalculation maybe. Maybe they, they have a little bit less speed. Anyway, you, you got the point there. I said that she was going to be at 91, she was going to be at 89. Missed 2% but you know how it is, almost got it. So yes, as you can see she got faster because of the 10% extra of combat readiness. Also that she's also she's faster than this monster so she gains a little bit more um, combat readiness than this monster because she has more speed than this monster so now I'm going to be using this skill which decreases 7% the combat readiness of the enemy so this is going to be happening after I use this skill if this skill does not miss I'm going to be hitting this monster which is going to be decreasing 7% of combat readiness. So it's going to be putting this monster on 70% of combat readiness. So it's going to be at the same combat readiness of this monster. So after that, then Lorena is going to be winning combat readiness until she gets to 100%, depending on her speed. So she's going to be receiving like 11%. Combo readiness to get into 100%. So she's going to be at the end of the attack of, of Silk, she's going to be at 100%. She should be at 99, 98 attack percent, um, combo readiness, sorry. This guy should be at around, she's, he's going to be losing 7%, but he's going to be winning 10%, around 10%. So he should be at 80% combat readiness. Remember, is this monster the red one, right? So let's use it. Hopefully, it's not going to be missing. If it does miss, it's possible that this monster is going to be ending with 87 attack readiness, combat readiness. Sorry. So let's see what happens. Okay, it resisted. So this monster should be with 87. Almost there. You know the. Because of the speed, because of the speed, you can see that I got exactly how the area was going to be ending. Also, lots obviously gained that 11% of combat readiness plus the extra speed he has, so he won like three extra percent because of he being more speedy. Okay, so now I will use Lorena's skill, which increases her combat readiness by 20%. So if I go to the short she's going to be at 0% then she's going to be winning 2% because to uh, this girl is going to be the next one so she needs 2% of extra combat readiness so she should be ending at 22 combat readiness 
she should be ending like 13, 14, and this guy should be like 41, 42 ex um, combat readiness. So let's attack this guy. Combat readiness increase it. Immature. Now it's the Nebir's turn. See that I'm not lying? That's how it works. You need to. You maybe not are going to be taking this. This is strictly how combat readiness work, but this is how it works. You won't do the math every time you do an attack, right? But yeah, this is how it works. So, it's Tenebrius' turn. So, I will do this. I will use this skill to reduce the combat readiness by 20% of every one of you. So, since these guys are going to be losing combat readiness, 20% is a lot. So, they are going to be ending on 68 combat readiness. So this guy at 64 and this guy at 61. So they need 36 combat readiness in order to this guy complete to be next on attacking, right? By seeing this chart. So these guys are also going to be winning that 34 combat readiness. So this guy is about to be ending like on 70 something, I'm not going to be doing the math right now. So plus his speed, since he's a little bit more speedy, he might end at 85% combat readiness. I won't do much math about these two because they, they don't have that much speed. So I will use this, if the combat readiness low um, hits them, then they are going to be losing 20%, if not then this guy is not going to be going that fast. But you will see that he will maybe end at 85 maximum, 75% combat readiness if this attack does not miss. So let's see how it goes. I want to torment you. Okay, combat readiness was slow down. You can see how much he moved what should I do? in the line. Because, uh, too bad, I, well, they attack automatically. Okay, you, you, you were not able to see. But. You see how much combat readiness, well, you know, you saw how fast he moved into the bar because they lost combat readiness. So, like, since these guys go down because losing combat readiness, when they gain the turn, uh, I'll move it like this, right? Along with, since he's very speedy, he almost passes them. He almost passes them. So, you can see right now that he's at 100%. So if I use this skill, it's going to be passing this guy, because this guy has less speed than my lots. So if let's use the skill. I'll blow Rest you piece. away if you're not careful. Well, he's so speedy that he actually passed these two guys because of the combo readiness. So let's try to hit again the red one, so it's going to be having the same combo readiness as this one. Hopefully she's not going to be missing. There we go. I will show you my skills. See? They have the same combo readiness because the red one lost seven combo readiness. Well, I think that makes it, right? This is how you this... try to define me. So this is how you control the enemies by using the combo readiness. This is also why Lorena is so good, because each time she uses her first skill, she's not going to be ended with zero um, combat readiness. She's going to be starting with 20 combat readiness. So each time, each 5 attacks, it's like she already won one turn. So that's why she's very good. Also with her specialty chain, she's going, she's going to be increasing more her attack and dealing more damage. So that's why, well... Yes, that's her second skill, but his, well, her passive, but you know where I'm going for, right? That's why she's so good. Combat readiness, that increases 20% by using her S1, that's translated into an extra turn uh, each 5 turns, and her specialty change make her a nuker, that's why she's so good. So, with that, hopefully you understand how combat readiness work. Hopefully you now understand why Lorena is so good and hopefully you will understand how to control your enemies by using the combat readiness. So I would like to have more heroes that slows the combat readiness by just lowering them by using just 
lowering, lowering combo radius effects, but you also can use slow down effects like Silk and S3 that slow the heroes, so their combat readiness is going to be going slower. So, you know where I'm going right now. So hopefully you understand how combat readiness work. If you have any more questions regarding to this, let me know. If you have, if you want to add more information about combat readiness, put it on the comments. I will be more than glad to add it maybe on the next video. Tomorrow I will be streaming again. This time, as you can see, we have um, where is it? Someone. We got Tamarine. Welcome to the Infinite Library. Which. She's a very good waifu, but she's actually very good. She also increases and decreases... Well, I think she only increases combat readiness, but she also de increases... She, she, yeah, she increases attack and also removes buff from the heroes, enemy heroes. So, also she's a healer, so she's a very good hero that you must have. I'm only going to be summon, summoning her for this account tomorrow on the stream. So yeah, tomorrow I will spend maybe all the covenant that's covenants that I have, covenant, covenant bird max, and maybe all of these crystals or sky stones. I call them crystals. I will be using these eight thousand sky stones on trying to summon Tamarine. Maybe I will try to get three copies so I can get her um, her imprinted a little bit more. But yeah, I will try to that to do that tomorrow. Tomorrow I will also be summoning Moonlight Heroes, maybe five. If I do spend all these Sky Stones, I will do five Moonlight Summons, so you cannot miss tomorrow stream. It's going to be around three to seven Central Standard Time. I'm not sure because I might be busy tomorrow, so I'm not sure if it's going to be around. Well, it's going to be around three and 7 p.m. CST, but I don't know when exactly it's going to be. So stay tuned, put that alert on the channel so you can know when the stream is going to be starting. Hopefully you are going to be there tomorrow to see all the summons that are going to be. Don't worry if you are going to be late or you don't know when it's going to be, just try to stay tuned on the channel. I might post on Facebook, hey, I'm going to be doing the stream in 30 minutes or one hour you will want to know exactly when I'm going to be doing it because I usually prepare myself like 30 minutes before I stream so I'm going to be just posting that on Facebook so you can stay tuned if you get late don't worry I will first try to spend all these Kai stones and the Covenant books on trying to get Tamarine and if I get three or four or five hopefully five so I can well six I need six if I can get her to SSS in print and um, yeah if I get that then I will go to do the online summons if you are late just in case. So hopefully this video was helpful for you. If you like it, leave a like. And if you want to see more of Epic 7 content, subscribe. See you guys.